Looks like we are good, we're ready to go. Hey everyone, Ragnamuni here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Last time we have gotten nine of the rally races done. We're going to get another nine knocked out today, starting with Tahiti Maze. So without further ado, let's jump in. It's Celica, 206, and a Lancer. Oh boy. Now can I just say, I really don't like this track. This track's okay, but... I really do not like this track at all. This is the this is the track that took me a long time to get practiced down, and I actually haven't practiced until today, so I'm probably going to be a bit rusty at this. But yeah, I'll probably go serious time the entire time here because while, like I, while the rally cars here are usually easier, this this place is bad because you have a lot of tight turns that you gotta that you gotta know to navigate. And the Lancer just takes them like a champ. Look, even the 206 that I'm racing against right now is like, or whatever the hell I'm racing against, is keeping up with me pretty easy. There was a really good way to negotiate that. I believe this is the longest rally track, too, if I'm being perfectly honest. Accelerate to victory. Yeah, th this will that time that I just did right there. That won't beat the Lancer. I have to get a time. I think around 157 or so. So let's go ahead and speed through these result screens. That's what I like playing on this emulator for. But uh, yeah. Okay, 206. That was a Corolla, I believe, last time. Alright, 206, let's go. I saw that frame drop from here, holy shit. There you go. You have to you pretty much have to break. You have to break super early just so you know that turn just so you can negotiate that turn without crashing.
That was much better. I need to do just like that on the next one. All right, here's the big one. May God have mercy on my soul for this race. turn. Okay, hit the wall, but I didn't lose that much speed. For the record in practice, that took me 34 attempts before I finally beat him once. That was easily my best time doing this. Hot damn, that was such a good one. I wish I could save replays of that. Hold on. I love that so much, I kind of want to watch that again. There, I kind of want to watch this. Let's watch it from this guy's view. Just because I just because I really, really enjoyed that run. Like look at this run here. It was amazing. I cannot believe he did not pass for the entire time. Hot damn okay, that's enough of that. Oh my god. That makes me happy. I wish you could save rally races. Alright, Pulsar Stratus and Corolla for Tahiti Dirt Road 3. Oh, that makes me so happy that I first tried him. Very happy that I first tried him. Makes up for that fuck up against the uh, focus. This track's not all that difficult, thankfully. In reverse, on the other hand, you're right. You're racing against this car. It can be a nightmare if you don't know uh, good speed. It might take me a few tries to beat that one. I cannot stress enough how much I had to practice to get good at these tracks. But hey, since I'm a gamer from the trial and error days, instead of the hand-holding era, you know how good that is. <laughs> I got a hair in my mouth. No. Obviously, can't do this in real life. Uh, whoa, hit the wrong button there. Um, 
Obviously can't do this in real life, uh, but I'm using the walls as my as a basis to kind of just bank off and break my turns off. It helps with getting the best times on here. Not to mention, apparently in real life, um, in real life, ride height actually matters because it uh, it makes the difference between if you hit like a rock or something. Okay, there's that one. On to the Stratos. Elemental Heroes Stratos? Nah, no, he's still banned. But he's a two over in the OCG. Come on, TCG. Let, give us Stratos back. He's not doing anything. Speaking of which, uh, the TCG ban list did drop a few days ago for a what's what's banned. And all I gotta say is, Zoo's dead. Zoo's definitely dead. Yeah, man. I'm so happy Zoo's dead, but unfortunately they uh, forgot to hit one insignificant little card. Two of them, actually. And that is Masterpiece and Diagram. You know, this format for us TCG players, everyone's gonna splash in three, dr three Masterpiece, as well as anything that, uh, pretty much in anything that runs continuous spells and traps. They say True Draco is a dead deck. True Draco might be dead. Masterpiece is a boss monster. Isn't. Let that sink in for a moment. They did not hit the one card that also needed to go with Zoo. I will still main Kaijus as long as that guy's around. I will main deck Kaijus until that guy has received, as uh, Drew would put it in one of his clips, Judgeek. I do watch uh, DPYGO, although otherwise known as Drew. Uh, just because he's the kind of guy that is, whoa, just because he is the no-nonsense Yu YouTuber that gets straight and to the point and gives us ideas on how these uh, cards might end up working and best case scenarios for the time being. He's a guy that won't hype up stuff. He's a guy that pr pr he pretty much tells it, tells it like it is, and that's why I respect him a lot more than I respect Cap G these days. I liked Cap G way back in the day. But nowadays, it's like one new card comes out, it's like, oh god, we gotta hype this card up to get it sold and stuff like that. I don't know if it's because... Whoa. Hang on. I don't know if it's because he prefers it since it's his job, or if it's because, like, he honestly thinks it's that bah, that great or something like that. I don't know. Not to mention, he still hasn't upgraded his Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro client. He's, wait He's waiting for the Percy upload. He's waiting for the Percy update. And I don't know how long that's going to be. I do kind of hope that he just goes back to, like, Dueling Book or something to see the meta. Which, uh, Dinosaurs also took a massive hit, from what I understand. Well, they took a much... Like, the OCG got it. They hit everything. Absolutely everything pretty much went. Masterpiece was given the axe. They, I think they killed off any of the rest of Zoo. Um... Yeah, they 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 pretty much they put they put the axe to a lot. Even invoked got hit and win witch too. Okay, song time. In fact, this is also the track that is shown off in the demo of Gran Turismo 2 for the rally cars. The car that gets used is the Lancer rally car that you can buy for 500k. I could have negotiated this. I could negotiate that as well as I could, but uh, looks like the other car behind me didn't either.
Boom, baby. That's event layout number one. Alrighty, next up is Pikes Peak Downhill, Smoky Mort Reversed, Heated Dirt Road 3, and Scudo Alerts. By the way, here's the track that you gotta race the Tiger on. And what do we got there? Another Lancer! Oh god! Another Lancer! Oh god! <laughs> so many Lancers! Uh, what do I wanna do next? Let's go downhill. Whoop! Didn't mean to pick that one. I'm not picking you yet. This is the one that feels the most like a drift event, by the way. Rather a uh, complete canyon race. L listen to this. This is a complete canyon race right here. I have not made the joke. Gee, Kenji sure loves playing rally races. This is a pretty long track, though, not gonna lie. But this is also the uh, the famous Pikes Peak. This is a real life track, I believe, in Pennsylvania, too, for that matter. So, yeah, for those that say Pennsylvania has nothing of grand value, we have Laguna Seca and Pikes Peak. Racing can suck. We got great legendary tracks here. We're the state that made the Akuto, the Escudo something. I'm proud of that. Then again, I'm probably remember remembering things wrong. I just know that Laguna Seca and Pikes Peak are both in the U.S. I don't know if they're in Pennsylvania. Which I've already said this millions of times, but it bears repeating. I remember when Cla I, rem I, I was surprised a classic gamer was in my home state of PA. Maybe we I really wanted to take a tour of the premises before they shut down. Uh, before they shut down uh, pre-patron. And don't be fooled. Even though these look like uh, streets, this is actually still dirt and gravel. The uh, gray that you saw there was pretty much from the shading. Really long ones today. Next is Elemental Hero Stratos. Try my best to also do a lot of these fancy slides and stuff. By the way, the uphill version of this, this is where you're racing a Scudo. It is not fun. Unless you yourself are using an Escudo. And even then, if you're not good at uh, doing the drift events, you will lose. be curious. Do you think it's possible to beat the Escudo with the Cultus? I mean, it's probably possible. And again, the Cultus is ass handling. I 
remember one of my times off camera was a two minute run. It was my best run of this place. Sadly not sub two minutes, but it was less than 201. Okay. Pepper room back, favorite. And look at that, Arrivals Kenji. This is the easiest rally event ever because even with its, uh, even with its stats and whatnot, the uh, Lancer just does not hold a candle to whatever car you decide to use here. Hell, that Lancer is actually a store-bought one uh, built from the ground up, so you can easily smoke with one of your own. I personally used Lancer RS. Come on, tell me this does not look like a canyon race from Carbon. My shoulders are aching. Well, not sub two. Well, not sub two, but definitely a good attempt. All right, that is. We swept that one. We got three more tracks to go. So I'm gonna cut it off here. Next time we meet, we are obviously taking out these three, and I'm probably gonna switch to the Scudo for Pikes Peak Hill Climb. In any case, this is Ragnamune signing out. You guys have a great night. Thanks for watching, and take care. Also, I hope you're enjoying this carbon music, because after these rally events, I ain't playing it again. We're going to be back to silence in some of these races. See you guys later. Take it easy.